Woyo cool. I'm never going to listen to it again because it's going to make me cry every time I listen to it. God, I'm glad that one wasn't so sad. Dajiao, what's your joke creator? Jintian, woman, Hui Ting, Sun Yan Zhu. Stephanie Sun is actually a Singaporean singer songwriter and she has been recommended to me a few times by you guys, so I thought I wanted to give her a listen. So here it says that she's born in 1978. It says that she wrote her first song during university. Her first album came out in the year 2000. So now, 23 years ago, when I was five years old. So the first song that we're gonna listen to is Wo Huan Nianda, or What I Miss. Without further ado, let's listen. Wo Huan Nianda. Wo Huan Nianda. Oh, nice little intro. I really like the guitar just introducing that. Wow. The lyrics. Wow. So the intro there, just beautiful, really. It's got that ballady, plodding piano, a very, very simple little guitar lick there, but it's used really nicely because just coming into different sections of the song, like just now, we're hearing that same little melody just being used to introduce. I really like as well the percussionist being very, very sensitive with what he's doing. You saw at the start there, he was using the microphone and the shaker to get a bit of a distance effect with it. Just good, precise use of percussion in this performance. The lyrics are um, absolutely beautiful and really beautifully sung as well. She's got such a tender voice in this performance and just at the, some of the notes, there's a little bit of a quiver which just adds to the emotion of the performance as well. A little bit of vibrato on the guitar there again. Reverb on that snare. Wow. Words. 
it's just perfect. Oh, a little falsetto backing vocal. Again, just repeating. Shay, Shay. Straight from the heart. Oh man. Boy, you cool. Wow. <sighs> These lyrics are amazing, really. I think she just she just captures this idea of of this love that, that she's had. And how such a I think she just really captures just everybody's had, you know, fights, arguments, because when there's such a high amount of passion then it's high stakes and there's a lot of emotion flowing and then she follows it up by pretending that that everything is okay which i think people do uh, for a long time sometimes in a relationship um that's that sort of you know is going to come to an end here where she says the title of the track it's repeated every time with the song title wo hui nianda that list continues and it's filled with actual moments um, which make the song sound so real, you know, just talking about a birthday. The fact is, is that what she misses the most is is not the memory specifically, but the feeling, the heartfelt, passionate feeling. This repeating is done again with asking who has done this. And this really goes again with the idea that for a while she's in denial that uh, the love can't continue. So she's asking who has done this? Who's gone so far? It's like they don't know, but she does know. We all know as listeners, um, but the fact that she's trying to hang on to this feeling, hang on to this person, but she knows she can't. So it's like a coping mechanism. It's very difficult to accept that the person that you love has turned that love into a burden, into something that you can't do anymore. I feel like it's something very, very difficult to come to terms with uh, to eventually make the decision to leave that relationship. Her vocal performance is absolutely amazing here. Uh, not just the uh, inherent skill that she has for vocals, which is very good, but I think her delivery is just extremely extremely emotional um and very 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 good we use this dreamy chord progression throughout the song we have this this little guitar lick which comes around again and again in a very subtle way uh but it just follows us throughout the song and we sort of have this little climax that comes up here That little change in rhythm there just really allows this next section to come in strong and the transition is very good. It allows a lot more energy into the song, even though that energy is still quite subtle and quite reserved. Uh, I'm never going to listen to it again because it's going to make me cry every time I listen to it. We're going to move on to another one. This is a live performance of hers from uh, maybe 2005. This song is Kaisha Dongle starting to understand Ooh. also follows this little guitar lick obviously slightly different but 
Similar effect. Her hair is crazy at this point. It looks like some sort of phoenix. Such a genuine interaction with the crowd. Oh, this song's definitely a little bit more positive. Mental in the middle gives the time to give a little way. Very different sentiment. Oh. It's almost like this song is the resolution to the first one. She's saying that there's always tomorrow and there always has been a yesterday, but you've got to sort of continue and choose to be happy. God, I'm glad that one wasn't so sad. Again, such a simple little riff, but I really like it. Very short and sweet, that one. So that song, definitely still very ballady. It does seem to hang around this same theme of love. This one is definitely a lot more about self-love and choosing for herself and choosing to be happy, which is really nice. So I really like the sentiment to it. The crowd are really, really enjoying her performance and she is reciprocating that by also being very smiley, uh, very happy, and just having such a wonderful interaction with the crowd there. Again, I quite enjoy the simple sort of arrangement, very sort of simple band arrangement with a stripped back kind of composition. No big loud chords going on, no complex drum fills or anything like that. Just a very simple sounding song uh, which allows her performance to come through really really well. You know it really helps her voice be the focus and shine through. But then you have that little guitar riff. It sort of centralizes the idea of the song musically and allows you to latch onto it. So you know it gives you that as soon as that guitar riff comes in, oh I know that this is Kaisha Donga because it trains your ears to associate it with this song. So everyone, thank you, thank you so much for recommending me to listen to this. I hope the rest of her discography has this sort of mix between a very, very emotional ballady style, but with songs also which are very self-reflective and can have a very positive atmosphere to them as well. She's definitely a very, very good singer-songwriter and clearly has been for a very long time. Well, Thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you all next time. Bye bye.